make it big. And um, so we need to, we won't make any, the final decision today, we'll do that on Monday. But I'll go over with you some of the, any of the changes that have been in place since the last time. It's going to have to get close. I understand. I want you to want me to do that. No, no, no. I'm feeling better with the big. Oh, I'm, I just sound horrible. I feel better. Okay, okay. so we just sound bad. Yeah, pneumonia is not a fucking thing. I can deal with that. I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll, At all. I'll take a disinfected bath. <laughs> you might want to be in a bath, rubbing up all or something. All right. So, <laughs> excuse me. Let's start with the projections, the 10 year projections. So can you see, is it big enough? Yeah. All right, so, so I'm going to show you. So I don't remember what it was the last time, but $3.24 was the extent of our uh, tax rate okay. effort from the municipality right, right, right. this year. Right. So with the changes that have been put in place since the last time we looked at this, we're going down a penny to $3.23. Okay. Okay. So uh, one of the reasons is the long-term loan line. I think that was at 81000 or something. Right. So now that we've closed on the USDA, we know what our... Uh, obligations. So this is both the Municipal Bond Bank and the USDA. And if you want to see the, the detail, it's here. Thank you for putting all that time in. Yeah, well, well, compared to what we thought of. Oh, it was a lot worse than I <laughs> Right. Well, well, the amounts, yes, right, right. but the work involved was. <laughs> yes, right. But anyway, so here's the USDA is, uh, this is what we chose. It's just the same amount forevermore for the Okay. Extended to thirty thousand years, right. seventeen thousand, okay. and then the bond bank uh, is the sum of these two lines: the fire engine and the transfer station. Right. And they do have a decreasing, uh, decreasing amount right. because we have an even principle. Right. Um, and of course, this is when twenty twenty seven is when the transfer station kicks out, and twenty thirty two is when the fire ship. So it's ten years for the transfer station, fifteen. The fire truck? Yes, and so what you're seeing in the projections <coughs> is an overall decrease across the 10 years. So we started at 79,700 and we ended 58,000. Okay. So that was one of the reasons that this, I don't remember exactly what it was the last time we worked on it, but I think it was up by a penny or two, wasn't it? Or it was something? By the uh, tax or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, all right, so we're down a penny. Okay. So that's the projection. As long as we're here, can I show you the, the CIP, just to, again, the reviews to review what we're doing. So what we're, let me just come down to the bottom, what we're asking for is 178200 What we're going to take out of it to cover some, you know, in, in Warren articles is a utility truck. Which for 40, uh, is already 20, 42,000. Mm -hmm. There's already 22 in there, okay. or 20 in there. Uh, the mowing attachment for 12, mm -hmm. and the, a police cruiser for it's not 25, but we already have 22 five in there. 22, yeah, 22 500. So, and I talked to Chief Ducharme this morning. Uh -huh. The crew, the the warrant article for the new cruiser is going to be forty five thousand, and we already have twenty two thousand five hundred. So we're just taking twenty two thousand five hundred oh. out. But because of his wanting to lease in the future, he's that's this is what he. Right. I just wanted to verify with him that I had this correct. So he's asking. He had asked the CIP for twenty five across, across the board, which had not been clear. And <coughs> He'll explain the lease cycle when we need to. We're not starting it next year. Next year we're buying, 2018, we're buying the cruiser. 2019, you want to start the lease? Yeah, let's say. He's going to have to come to us. But he said, yes, just put the 25 as I asked the CIP for going forward. Okay. That's not, this has been in there all. I just wanted to verify because it was confusion right. when Carolina told me, I, don't, I think it's three years, I, you know, whatever. Because so, when he came and talked to us, he, he wanted to do it sooner than later because he wanted to bring down the the averages of the uh, of the, the mileage on the existing. But we have a, a one cruise, two cruisers that have high mileage, and he wanted to sort of, uh, wanted to help fix that problem. But so I thought it was going to be sooner than later. But he, he must have changed his mind. 
I, well, there was this, and so I, I called him. I said, please right. call because we want to get this thing finalized. He says, we're going to buy one in 2018. Okay. So, and, and I've already gone through the, road, the mowing attack for, I've said that, right? The mowing attack the for the service truck. Yeah. So the outlay is, I think, 99500 So we're asking for 178 to put in. We'll be spending on those purchases. I think it's like 99500 something like that. Uh, for 99 what? Um, I, uh, I don't know. Here, but I have to go somewhere. Like 99000 roughly? Yeah. Could be five hundred. Okay. Yeah. Just no, that's fine. I just, I just keep them straight in my mind. Yeah. yeah. It is service truck for forty-two thousand, cruiser for forty-five, roadside mowing attachment for twelve. So, no, it's ninety-nine. All right, so that's the CIP and capital. Do you want to go to revenue now, or do you want to go to the expense? The CIP, can yes. we go back to the fire station sewage? Um, he, I had thought that they were putting in a septic, and they're going to be putting in, I think, at some point. They only have 40,000 more. Oh, it was just a septic. No, right. She was verified that he wants to hook into town. When did he come to that? On Monday. When I asked him. It's the new, uh, new development because uh, the CIPs for the last three years, maybe? Right. We've been talking about just uh, putting in a new septic system. They want to put in a septic upgrade, 40000 Right. And so what how came about, Mike, was well, when you put in the septic tank, you're going to get lose the ice rink anyway, so give the liner back to see And he goes, oh, no, we're not putting in the septic tank. We're putting, we're hooking in a town water and sewer. And I'm like, oh. All right. They're on water now, right? So right, yes, they're on water. But 40000 is not going to cover it to go from where it is to where they want to be. Well, that, you know, we don't have to resolve that. We don't have to. Because it, it's like you can schedule to put a more accurate number in at least. We don't know what that accurate number is, right? So this will change. Next year they'll review it again, and Mike will be there saying, well, what do you think we want? Okay. Because the, the, obviously the, the discussion has been for the last several years, we're just replacing the septic tank that's, that's 40 years old or close to it. And the, and they may come Never to the agreement that this is the better, that, so. better approach anyway. I understand my future when you say we're putting sewer in line, because that's never been discussed before. And that's what he said Monday night. Oh. <laughs> I go, well, then 40000 is again. <coughs> so, so it may, you know, so there's going to be discussion then between the CIP committee and, and Chief Rutherford. And, 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 and we're going to put a placeholder for eight months? A placeholder for eight months. Make sure we don't forget. <laughs> Well, it gets reviewed every year, though. I know. So they'll oh, look yeah, at no, it. That they'll look at it. We're going to start the process earlier next year. You could put a note in. I mean, it, <laughs> on the worksheet, you could just say, I guess. But well, he's going to come in and yeah, say, yeah. "Oh, you know, I want to." So put there, it there is an automatic <laughs> renewal process. Okay. So it will come up. Just a heads up. Because there are a few things that have. Um, have well, we're not sure exactly what the town hall boiler is going to cost. I mean, there are things that are estimates, right? I mean, the town hall roof is a pretty good estimate. We got that from a roofer. Right. The old mill lane, you know, that's from right. the state, so that's pretty good. But there was, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. There was a project that that uh, had been on the CIP previously, but that um, we knew that it would have to be reviewed, and it was going to change dramatically, and it did, and that's escaping me now, but. Yeah, so so like I'm not worried about change. it yeah. when it okay. comes back next year. Okay. I, I'm just really confused that this this sort of change in, in, in direction, that's all. But it doesn't matter because it's not going to happen. Right, it doesn't happen when he just comes to a <coughs> and and that. It was just a, that was a conversation. And I think it's going to be a lot much right. I don't want to beat a dead horse, but it's going to be a much larger discussion as to why they think this is necessary. I mean, it is... Uh, Sure. I mean, what, Which really is what would happen. The, yeah, it's, yeah. So we'll let that unfold in its own time. If that's yeah. okay. Anything else about ten-year projections or CIP? Well, let's go to revenue because I know there's some changes there, okay. and I'll, I'll review them with you. Possibly. Well, they were. 
positive. Okay. They were positive. So the first one is, let me, let me um, zoom this up. So we'll go over the individual items. Yes, please just get yourself where you can see. So the hydro, I finally talked to the hydro person, and he, because he had sent an email that the projection for revenue was 55100 We've been working on 35. And, we told them we never and I, I called him. I said, um, "This is a tremendous increase <laughs> for us. It's not that I don't want to believe it, right. but you know, if we're going to use this as a revenue figure, right. you know, tell me why your number like that's part of the year. exactly." So they, they are, they are. I asked. He says, "Will we get actually get more per kilowatt hour?" So he's not necessarily anticipating a, a great increase in production, but yeah. they get more for kilowatt hours because they're regulated or something or whatever. Right. And when they put their uh, their financial plan together to see whether they wanted to uh, buy out the lease or whatever the contractual arrangement is, that was the that's what they were using with their investors is rev right. projected revenue of fifty five thousand one hundred. So I thank you for that. I said we probably won't use that figure. And so what I did was I used a figure of forty two thousand. Uh, maybe not Just quite seven thousand yet. Seven thousand yet. Would you say thirty-two? That that's what we brought in. This is the this is the okay. this is yeah. what we brought in through the end of November. Okay. These are actuals. This is okay. the pink is the order. Yeah. Yeah. The actual the actuals right. are today. Uh, thirty-three. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Okay. okay. And they were good. Um, they were good. Is there a new rate that's going in next year? That, that's what they're anticipating. That's why they're. They just say they get more. Five? They they say they're regulated and they get more per kilowatt hour. Hmm. They want regulated before. As is opposed it? to EverSource not being regulated or something. They're oh, in Vermont, oh, that's right. They're they're, they're in another, another state. So, but they're operating here. So I, you know. It's not ENL anymore, right? It's, it's not. Right, this right, is so. Green Mountain Hydro or something like oh, that. Yeah. So they're the new operators. I got you. Whereas before they were based out of Maine? You know, or Massachusetts? Uh, well, Italy, actually. Oh, but, all right, well. <laughs> uh, I don't think the regular. Yeah, there, so I. Rates, right, so. so. <coughs> all right, well, all right. 42 seems more reasonable than yeah. 55. And otherwise, you know, we're keeping the cable franchise be the same. We did already through November earn a little bit more. Okay. Uh, the cell tower lease, I think we have another month. And you know we're we're not changing our revenue for cell tower lease. Uh, rents on property is what it is. Uh, reimbursement for bank fees. I've zeroed that out because now we have all of our miscellaneous reimbursements right, so from one loan. So this fourteen thousand seven hundred exactly matches the expense miscellaneous reimbursements. You know for bank brief. You know for people. Uh, yeah, all those things. St uh, sign replacements, you know, when people sure. bump into road signs, all that stuff. Uh, Lamprey Regional, that was a one time thing. Income from departments. So there was a change here, and that was with the detail. So, with we've already, so this was the 50000 is what we thought we would bring in in 2017. This is what we've actually brought in, 59. And Caroline said for the expenses, which are currently just $35,000, she hasn't received all of the money yet to go with this. So it's almost about double. Uh -huh. So, but again, this was conservative. So this hundred, the, if we have 60000 which is what Chief Ducharme is yeah. putting on the expense side, we probably will get closer to 120000 He was saying, too, they turned down some details, too, so they just... Because they, they didn't have the expense, right? So, so, so I, I, you know, I tried to be conservative. So I'm choosing right. this. Uh, in case he doesn't spend the full sixty thousand, we won't get the right. full but, yeah. revenue. But um, and, and sorry, you said this is through the third quarter. The, the this, is, this is through the through no through or November thirtieth. Okay, but there are some details that ha either haven't been built out yet, or we or okay. they've been built out, but so we, we have haven't received the money. Yes. Okay. Associated with the expense, it's already in the because we've already paid our people. All right. Um, so.
so this so the library got finalized for their uh, their budget. And I apologize. I didn't pay attention to the laws. And was there a change in their budget? Uh, substantial small, change. No, it wasn't substantial. And this is their the revenue. The twenty nine hundred is the revenue they're projecting. Okay. Um, I think these are the correct figures for camp the uh, recreation for the revenue. Fifty thousand. Can you see it, Michael? So this is what we're so projecting at all, and it's fifty thousand roughly for the small uh, camp yeah. Raleigh, yeah. and yeah, yeah, for the team camp. Okay. So and there's no, you know, we. Cardboard recycling, we anticipated 3,000 in 2017. We put, we've been using the same figure. Just as a point of reference, we, we've collected 6,000. Okay. So we didn't increase it. I mean, at this stage of the game, I'm happy just. Do you think it was an anomaly or just the system? It could be the, car, you know, the, 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 uh, the commodities market oscillates greatly. So, so it's nice if we get 6,000 again next year, it's nice. Um, you know. It hasn't been consistently doing that, performing that way, has it? So no. I think it's safe to stay. You know? No, it's just a common way. It's a good uh, Scrap metal also. <coughs> we haven't been budgeting scrap metal, anticipating. We've got 3000 so I put 1500 here. Right. Uh, transfer station fee, and maybe this is why, maybe these 2000 should be here. So so there's, you know, there's this much revenue for the train. Just, Transfer station fees and demo fees, so twelve thousand. So maybe this is too high, but we know this is too low. So I think we just kind of all even it's on one. Yeah. So the big increase, though, in income from departments is from the detail, police detail, right? This thing. That's big. Yeah. That's big. Um, and then other. Did we talk about other? Yes, we did. That's the cell tower. Yes, we went through that. One, so. These are licenses and fees. I think there's been no change from the last time we threw it. We threw it through it. The pistol permits we reduced, you know, based on what you said. So there's an overall reduction in, in the other license permits and fees. Not by much, but overall. Below this, can you see this? All right, so then this is like the summary, right? So this is what we get from a land use change tax, tax account from one of those Warren articles. 13,000 in resident taxes, that's the same. I don't know what we've collected so far. It's a balance sheet account, so we need to get that. And I'll need to get that before I hand it out. Uh, timber tax, no change. Yield tax, I don't even know what it is. Not bringing it to hand. All right, interest on taxes, the same. You can see that we brought in pretty much that amount already. Inventory penalties, I need to get the uh, actuals from Caroline. Uh, business permits, licenses, no change. Motor vehicle, we, we had decided to increase to 600,000, so that's still there. Yeah, we will bring in just about that. We'll bring in based on the projections. This is what we brought in already. Um, this is the surcharge. We'll have a full year of the surcharge next year. We budgeted three quarters, I think, and then we started about halfway through or less. Uh, building permits, we've got that, you know, we had it at 45. We brought in 33,000 through November. So we've dropped, dropped it to 32. We knew Chipper was had lots of percent, but yes. we still didn't bring in what we thought we would. So my question is, did Clement not ever go through? That cul-de-sac on Clement? Oh uh, yeah, it went, yeah, they haven't done okay. any construction. Okay, so there's one. So there, there's, there's lots there, right? out there. There's Portland Avenue right near me. They're right near Alexander's. Well, they, they must have sold it. They've got a driveway permit from the state. And they do. So, you know my driveway? Um, yes. Then there's a house that's kind of set back, and then there's there's Alexander's. Yeah. Well, there's between 
they're, 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 they're clear. You can sort of see flags outlining a driveway. And they do have a driveway permit from the state. If the one... It's right, it's right before Alexander's if you're heading towards me. The same side of road, right before. Okay. Is there like a little bit of a ledge in front? Yeah. Yeah, it's just a single fan house lock. Yeah, yes. But so there's that one. There's one. I'm sorry, I thought you were saying there was... No, not a development. No, 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 no. Just was, counting yeah, up that's, the that's possible just one building there. permits uh, for full... Climate Road. Well, Climate Road was... Um, Three. So So I think you know I think that this is yeah it's conservative but you know it's, if we get more so much the better we we'll add to fund balance and make up for any thirty two. So other license permits and fees, that's just a summary from one of those tabs that we looked at. Uh, state uh, room and meals, we haven't received it yet. We get it in December, but this is the amount we're losing 48 bucks, and we're gaining three on the state block rate. Right? And here's the supplemental. Yes, thank you. The railway tax, which, you know, the DRA says, no, keep it at 1,000, so I'm guessing that they still owe us a payment for that. Okay. Income for departments, this is big, a big increase because of Detail. Detail work, yeah. Uh, other charges on our own is sale of municipal property. The only thing that's there is the cruiser. And, you know, uh, this is sort of cemetery lots. Interest on investments. So, you know, this has always been aspirational, this 500 in this economy. <laughs> so I do have it again, but look what we've gotten this year $3,800. And that's still a month. There's a month. That's right. our, uh, you know, the money that's been sitting in the P.W. accounts. Right. So, but most of that will not be spent. Well, it will be because so, if I wouldn't change it. Right, exactly. So, and uh, other, again, this is this coming from the other tab, which had the hydro, so it increases the hydro and other things. Uh, Make sure we're not the right yeah, 131, 200. Oh, I see. Miscellaneous <coughs> reimbursements is also higher. That was the hydro miscellaneous reimbursements. So capital reserve funds, we're going to ask for 99,000. So it comes in as revenue. It shows up as revenue here. Uh, and it's the cruiser, the service truck, and roadside mowing attachment. The cemetery trust fund is $1,000. Uh, land conservation fund is 5000 which comes from the land use change tax, I think. Grants, um, this is the fire engine grant, which we're only going to get uh, in 2018. Bob mentioned the, the $25,000 grant, which we're only going to get in 2018. Mm -hmm. So it, that's what this total is right here. All right. And fund balance is fifty thousand, so we reduced that to fifty, partly because of the grants and other kinds of things that are one time. So we've been, you know, sort of counting on two hundred thousand, so that's been reduced to fifty. Uh, so that gives us that amount for revenue, which is what you see in the projections. The one thousand. 602, but you have to take out what you're going to get from reserve funds. Because that's not real. No, no, no. Reserve funds, you know, the CIP, because right. that we don't, that doesn't affect the tax, overall tax effort. Right. So, so that, so the revenue that I'm counting is reducing the tax effort is this one, about 1.5. Alright, so that's, yeah, all right, uh, expense appropriation. All right, so let's see what. So you weren't here, Michael, but um, yeah. So I, you know, the last second two two budget committees ago. Okay. Uh, the budget committee, one member of the budget committee, not the budget committee. Individual meetings or like cycles. Pardon. Two meetings ago? Two. two or? Yeah, yes, two. Okay. two. 
when we were reviewing, it was just two, two meetings ago. Gotcha. Two meetings okay. ago. A budget committee member wanted to increase the budget committee communication line from 300 to 500. Okay. And uh, and talking about communications, talking about something that has to be, you know, the, what the board sends out has to be approved by the budget committee. And uh, it caused me to call a municipal association okay. and talk to the legal inquiry spoke. Okay. So I spoke with Stephen Buckley, and he said, you know, the budget committee has no independent or separate authority to, to communicate with the public in, that, in those manners through sandwich boards or, or leaflets, pamphlets, and the like. <clears throat> that the mechanism that the state has provided to the budget committee to communicate to the public is through the, through the presentation of the operating budget and through the recommendation or not of warrant articles that have appropriations. So, uh, so I said, well, I said, yeah, I hear that. And actually, that's why I called, because I, I was disquieted three years ago, or two years ago, when the first, that line first came out, and with the idea of budget committee doing the sandwich boards. I mean, this, you know, I feel like it's the board's it's our responsibility. It's our right, yeah, and we shouldn't be diluting our rights and responsibilities. So, so I said, well, this is not good. You know, would you be willing to talk to someone from the budget com from the budget committee? And he says, yes, preferably the person who feels strongest about this. So it was Kim Saint Hilaire, and yeah. <clears throat> so I did. I brought it up on Wednesday, yeah. gave her his contact information, and that's where it stands. So, so with regard to the three hundred dollars that was already in that line, we can do a couple of things with it. We can move it to training. For the budget committee, because he, you know, Steve said, you know, we can do something on demand. <coughs> I said it's hard. <coughs> it's hard. it is hard for people because they do their training, which we offer to the budget committee. They do it. It's it's during a work day, right? So he said, for just a little bit more, you could have us come down and do a training. So, so we could either put where is it the budget committee. Communications. We can either either put that three hundred dollars in like printing, you know, for more communication on our the, on the board's part, or in training. So I, at this point, I put it in our printing and copying. But I was in the training. It was of interest. Did it, did you bring that up? Um, I don't. I'm not, sure I I'm not sure I did. It would be next year's budget committee anyway. It wouldn't be. Oh yeah, but this you see if there's interest. Uh, would, would, you know, there's only. Two or three openings, right? Every three, three openings every year. So it's there are folks that, that are there that may be interested. That will still be there, yes. regardless of the sure. election outcome. Sure, that may be interested. So you might so, want to ask them before. Uh, ask them three hundred dollars, even not the movie between. I say that you're the person doing it. Well, no, no, no. Well, it's very easy. Right? It's easy, right? easy for us, right? Yeah, yeah right. So thank you. But um, <laughs> so anyway. it, it might. It might make sense just to ask, see if there is, if there is an interest in putting into printing, if there is, then put it into... Well, either way, we, it doesn't stop us. Wherever the money is, it doesn't stop us if we think something is a good thing and the budget committee thinks it's a good thing to offer. But the budget committee has <coughs> made a good point in getting the word out. And I do like the fact that, if, that we put out something last year, so I want to make sure that we don't forget to put out we the do it frames. Oh. And, the flat and the mail. Absolutely. 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 And it really did engage the people so they were more informed. Yeah, I agree with it. So we put into printing and then, I mean, it's only, we're only talking $300 anyway, right. right? So we right. can find that somewhere in the budget if there is interest in having that training. Right. Yeah. Yes. So are you, are you okay with that? Yeah, put in printing. I mean, I think Jody is absolutely right that we still, if, oh, if it oh, truly oh, is supposed oh. to fall on us, then we want to make sure we do it. So. Oh, correct. Well, back that up. There's no requirement that we do it, but it's now become the, the, the norm. So it's I think, so. Well said. All right. Um, was it? I don't know. My yeah, so yes. There, to that there was no other change in executive, but if you want to take a look, you know, I can make it even bigger. That was the. No, no, there's no change, and I'm happy. No, no, no change from the last time we looked at it, right? No change. Was I here the last time we looked at it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we perfect. Were okay. Yeah. Sure. Right. Okay. Um, just one law. Elections. 
no change from the last time we looked at it, but if you want to kind of review this, again, this is this is the appropriation last year, this is the one this year, and this is the these are the actuals through November. Okay, that's just for us. Pardon? Just for our department? What are you looking at? Training? No, this is this is specifically because she's a town official. We don't just for Kate's life. Yeah, just okay. for Kate. Yeah, the, okay. yeah. I the to training for her. I'll show you the yeah. training when yeah. we, it's under personal administration. So I'll, I'll show you that when we get there. Uh, financial administration again, no change from the last time we looked at it. The the increases are to the audit. Yeah. The revaluation for that really and the tax collector. So rebal. Um, this is the con we haven't signed the contract, but this is what the contract now says. Okay. And I I haven't heard back from the mapping fees or the information systems, but so they're inflated by five percent. We still haven't. No. No. This has been. Yes. A while now, yes. right? So yes. They ripped what? up the old contract because it was wrong on Monday night. I'm sorry. Say that again, Joe. We ripped the sign. <laughs> like ripped it up. Well. We, Virtually, yes, you may. We may have done it literally. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you took it out. Okay. Oh, there you go. So, um, <coughs> after the emails that had gone back and forth yeah. with Chad, that it was they would reprint as a new one. Okay. And with I, two changes. Right. And I haven't seen. Well, I won't see the folder until Monday. So. Well, one of those changes I recall now. I can't what it was, but it was it was one that should have been changed prior to. Well, yes, he didn't. He, Remember he came to us to talk to us about, you know, the way we do it is, you know, every five years we need to revalue re right. the, the property. But part of the, and the first step of that is data verification. Yeah, so yeah, also data yeah. verification. Yeah. So they come in and they do data verification on the whole town. Yeah. And that's include, that was included in the 70,000 whatever. Yeah. Okay? He said, what other towns do, not all of them, but what other towns do is they do that data verification in fourths. Okay. So they'll do it, you know, reval minus four, reval minus three, reval minus two, reval minus one, or right. something like that. Right. Or, you know. And so that was included in their contract. But when when he came to talk to us, we talked, we, I, we, not that we voted, I don't know that we voted, we said, I, you know, we don't think we want that actually. Thank you for telling yeah. us about it. I but remember we don't that think conversation, that. right? Yeah. So, okay. but that's what the contract said. And it still said that. It said okay. it said that. So, so that was the first change. Okay. Was please take that out. Right. And oh, by the way, why is there a twenty-five percent increase in, <laughs> yeah. in the the other part of the contract? Yeah. And they talked it over. This is oh, there there was excess activity this year, but it was abnormal. So, I don't know. Excess but, activity. Well, more than abnormal. usual. It it was. We use them more than we had before, apparently, for appraisal things. Um, Maybe because it was a rebound. I think rightly so. There were several. I'm yeah, just they concerned. More often. Well, well, I'm, 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 I'm not going to beat up on the thing right. that may have happened in the past, but there were. I, I don't know if it was abnormality. I think that well, it might actually become the new norm. Be, I may not be articulating it correctly. <laughs> oh, but. Contract price has been reduced. Okay, that, I'm fine then. Okay, I just I, I, we haven't we haven't approved it, right. but that's what okay. is being budgeted. All right. All right. Personnel administration. Here's the training line, Jody. So it said it said 1,100, and that training is for tax collector, <coughs> uh, admin, uh, transfer station, and highway, and, uh, and us. But fire has their own training, police has their own training, and as an elected official, the town clerk has their own training. And the green was like a hundred bucks, right? The what? The green class that it took was just a hundred dollars. I don't know. I want to say it's a hundred dollars, and then and Russ's, that, yes, was, Russ's was like seventy-five dollars that he's taking this well. He's planning on taking a few more too. Um, so I just want to make sure that there is enough. But about oh, eleven hundred sounds. It sounds good. And you know, is we if in fact, and this is this would be a good problem to have, is if, if we have employees who are eager, and I know we encourage them eager for training because it only makes us better, then you know we can look at that line 
next year's budget, and we need to increase. We've only expended 350. So yeah, far. we've only so expended 350. And that was the. And that was the probably yeah. probably included George, George and Russ, um, Paul, and Ed. Yes, if we were invoiced for his, I don't know. He took it in December. I don't know when the, but we registered him in November. Still, so it's probably so it's there. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's that's personnel administration. No, no other change. No change since the last time we looked at this. Planning and zoning. No change since the last time we looked at it. How much did they spend on training? Who? They don't have a training line. We we talk. Yes, it hasn't come to pass. That's all I can say. Krebs. He was supposed to provide training. training it it, well, it, it came out of his consult. It was going to come out of his consulting work. Okay. But the, the the folks he was going to bring in, there were going to be no charge. They were going to do a pro bono. Yeah. So he was going to charge us his regular fee, and then the other folks would pay pro bono. Good. Yeah. 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 So it can still happen. Well, I, I, okay. So. Would be sufficient dollars. Yeah. All right. Government buildings. Um, you know, there's there's the budget would support. You know, with the increase that um, Richard has asked us. But right now it was budgeted just at a two percent increase. But that two percent increase will cover an increase. In, Oh, so that right. yes. I'm doing the central purchasing. They're working out great. Super. Thank you. Thank you for helping me arrange that. That's great. Um, the water reduction is only because this is now going to come out of maintenance. It's not really the water. It's the it's some yeah. kind of testing. Yeah, the testing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's no change. We're keeping the town hall, uh, you know, heat, highway shed. All of these, you can look at them. Heat in the fire station is up. I don't know why, because... Heat at the transfer station, we doubled. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah because there were yeah. a couple of... Well, I'll make sure. Yeah, and you know, because it's propane, yeah. it, it kind of depends on when you... Yeah. The year or the, you know, that you actually need a new tank full or whatever, but... Um, so electricity, the only change was actually we reduced Highway shed up by a little bit, just based on its, what we were expending. Um, transfer station is up because we think we have some new new equipment, which is up a little bit. Can we reduce the heat at the highway shed? We, yes, probably. we did based on I think you and when you when I was working with you and George. My oh, I'm sorry. I'm looking at the electricity. Okay, heat highway shed. I wish you had 6,000, 6,000. You could probably reduce that by two, 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 three. Uh, uh. Well, it's going to be four this year. You think we can? Uh, four, 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 fifty. Four thousand five hundred. Yeah, just because he doesn't like it very well. Either. Beautiful. So he's like, he's like, I never heard that. I said, okay. Beautiful. All right. Um, uh, you know, there must have been a reason why we increased the heat on the fire station, but look at the expense, 4000 Now that they have the room set up better, he was going to do more training now. Remember, they redid the floors yes. this year, they redid the So walls. there's going to be increased usage, you think? That I believe is what he said. So does it so seem like I a... I don't want to speak out okay. of turn, though, but... All yes. right, so we'll, we'll keep it. Uh, Electricity at the shed, we reduced, again, I think based on mm -hmm. what we were looking at. Yeah. Transfer station, we increased it a little bit because we had other equipment. Yeah, they're going to be in there working with the building stuff as well. Electricity at the fire station was reduced a little bit based on usage. Uh, repairs maintenance at Town Hall, we did reduce it to 10. And 12. Um, you know, what we're hoping to do is paint and repair the portico, yeah. and then we've got the mold remediation and the various service contracts that come out of the year. Uh, repairs and maintenance of the highway shed, we increased that. We've got plans of uh, repairing the drywall in the office, repairing the roof shingles as they blow off, 
installing stairs to the upstairs storage area, which actually may come out of this year's funds, right? Again? Yep. It's a brick holder. And the exhaust fan. the end of December, yeah. if available. Yeah. <coughs> and the exhaust fan. Uh, no change to repairs at the fire station. You know, Chief Buffett has talked about that with the budget committee. Uh, repairs at the transfer station we have reduced to by 1,000 to two based on um, George and his staff. Hydro plant is fixed. Uh, that's sort of the hydrants are fixed. Municipal taxes pretty much fixed. So, so that's that. Highway cemetery is the same. We, we thought there was going to be a thousand dollar increase, okay. but you bought it this year. Yeah. So beautiful, and it was seven hundred something. Right. Property and liability. This was based on estimates that we got from them. Yeah. Regional association. These are the actual increases that uh, we built into both the municipal association and the municipal hey, regional planning. So it's overall a three point four percent increase. Of police, this is based on uh, Chief Ducharme's. So we've got his salary, full time salaries, and including the holiday pay, uh, part time salaries. This is contracted services, 60000 You can see here's the uh, 36000 in expenses that he's had this year, so he may not spend the full time. Uh, perfect. Retirement has gone up um, because last year, half of the year was at a, a lower rate, and right. after the biennium, it was at a higher rate. Uh, and the rest is all his. You know, he's got an in, uh, he put in, he put in cleaning. It includes 500 for hazardous cleaning. He's got it as a separate line, so I may put it as a separate line. Uh, but right now, it's just in the uniform line. But it won't change the amounts, it's just right. whether it's right, in a right, different right. Yeah, yeah, So that's... So that's the only for, is, that's not going to be a, a, a weekly cleaning? No, it's, it's, it's when happens. something happens and it needs to be uh, uh, dry clean. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Charlie. The weekly cleaning was Thank you. Be a lot, a lot. It was a couple thousand dollars. And he said, well, we'll just keep it the way it is and then we when we get that hazardous stuff on us, then we'll send it back. Okay. So, right. Wasn't my favorite, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a it's a stepped improvement, right? Sure. So yeah. it gets us yeah. a little closer. He, did, he also said that, you know, they over the last few years, this just didn't happen now, but over the last few years, they've gone to uniforms that can be just thrown in the wash. In the wash yeah, right. So. Which is helpful, but yeah. you don't want to do it if there's stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Not at all. Don't you say stuff? Um, the fire department. So the change that we made from the last—I don't think it's from the last time I mentioned this. Is the last time is, you know, salary. the salary line. And so he had said, "Please do 40," and they talked to us about that. They even that's not enough. So you know, based on some of the additional revenue that we thought we'd come in, I—I yeah. yeah. I put it at 41, and I think. Talked about it. I'm not sure. That's so anyway, right. it's at 41. Right. That's for all the for all the uh, for when they on actually, call folks. Yes, the on call. Yes. Um, and then That's he's got an increase in the training line, and I think otherwise it's the same budget. You know, the payroll taxes go up, the salaries go up. That's fire a building inspector. There's been no change. We've increased his hours by one. Um, Road agent, the highway department, uh, it, no change since the last time, but you know, we are, you know, budgeting full time staff, which is the assistant, right. including some overtime. Uh, part time staff, we've reduced it. Right. Right. So we'll use, you know, some combination of uh, Spinney, uh, Mike, and uh, Wayne. Wayne. Thank you. If, if either one wants to stay on. The retirement system is increased because we put on a part-time person. Right. Uh, safety equipment. We combine shoes and equipment, safety shoes, say, into one line. So with an increase of 200. 
although both, I don't think either one of them needs safety shoes at the moment. They came, with their, they came, with, their own. They came with their own, so the starting out in good shape. Okay. And an extra pair to boot, no, no pun intended. <laughs> What's good though? It is, yeah. See, it's the mind. I think our mind makes puns because right. it just associates yes. them, so it comes out that way. <laughs> uh, preventive health. Uh, the telephone we were able to reduce because we've moved it to whatever Bayside is now. Right. Uniforms. Yeah. Yeah. Supplies we've increased. We're going to be doing more of our, ourselves. Uh, equipment is increased uh, to cover a uh, trailer for 1400 that expl uh, flammable or explosion proof storage cabinet and a small fridge plus just general you know we over look at this. so we budgeted 4000 expended 67 for equipment yeah so you know it, it kind of sort of depends a little bit on how difficult the uh, winter is on our plow equipment and yeah. you know, that sort of stuff uh, vehicle repair maintenance is up because our, you know, our fleet is is in a process of getting older at the moment, and we do have the Volvo backhoe. Uh, vehicle fuel is the same. Signs, we're bound to determine, Michael. We're gonna we're gonna do the stop signs this year. I'm I'm, I'm not yelling at you. I'm sorry, it seemed like a yell. No, because you said we keep budgeting this and nothing happens. Oh yeah, it's true. Well, it wasn't so, just the stop signs. It's well, signs, signs, but we're going to do the name of the road. That need to so we're we are explicitly agreeing to upgrade the stop signs, and because Great. we'll do them all, uh, George will get a good price. <laughs> You're still not convinced, no, are you? Not. Until the one you thing, see them. It's the one thing that we always fight it for, and it's the first thing that gets rated. So. I, I've gone along with the rate, so don't get me wrong. I'm no, not I, I, I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> that, but that's why I, I wanted to really emphasize. I've forgotten that I even care about that. But thank you for the reminder. Uh, line striping, as we reduced to zero. Um, George said we don't need to do any long line striping. Oh, okay. And he thinks he can get equipment to do short stuff. Short stuff. Uh, tree maintenance. Uh, you, know, you know, we're at five thousand. So uh, I've been gone for a couple weeks, so I apologize. Did we ever? He was still getting quotes. Okay. He, we have a purchase order for. We're running out of. Uh, I understand. Out of year, so. I understand. Okay. And if the if the snows come tonight, I mean, yeah, I, I last year we did do it in December, but <laughs> it just you know it, it will occupy his time, so yeah, we'll have to we'll have to see. Uh, sand and gravel is increased again because we're going to do more in house shoulder work. Good. Uh, street sweeping is this is what we've been paying, right. but you know George was here on Monday, mm -hmm. and I believe he said that we could do it with. The I still can't quite so, believe. Yeah, I think he said he thought he could do street sweeping with the yes. Bobcat. We have a we have an attachment that goes to the Bobcat that's a sweeper thingy. Right. And it's not like the big truck that you see that goes down Dover Point, but he can sweep all the sand into a pile. And then use the other attachment of the backhoe to put it in the truck and follow it away. Okay. So, so we'll we'll keep that fifteen hundred line. Yeah. Because we won't hold him to that. But if he can, you know, he's he's a very much yeah. I, we like to do things ourselves. Yeah. Right. But so, I can see him being able to do maybe the, the village roads. That I think way. that's what we do though. I don't know. You do. I think you that's a pretty much. He doesn't do any of the other uh, roads. I don't. I don't know. Does but we'll. Like stop like that? I don't know. But you can no, still do stock with the bobcat. Okay. It just may take more time, but yeah. it's yeah. summer. Right. Yeah. right. Like they've never sweep street sweep right right or ever. And you have those other with the with development the drive. Yeah. Is there a curb on your on your road? There's no curb, but yeah. there's a lot of leaves that fall and yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have to I have to actually leaf blow it back so you can see the road. So I don't want the road to or anything. All right, so I mean it's in the budget, you know what we've been, yeah. to the level we've been expending it, and we can talk about that next year. We've got a little bit more in the coal patch hut mix again because we're anticipating doing more work ourselves. Yeah. The salt is the same, even though, as you can see, we've expended more. 
because the rates went down. So even now, if we order salt for the rest of the year, we're using that lower rate. And uh, it's, it's very encouraging. You know, George has been to the green snow probe sure. and is learning ways to reduce the usage of salt. So we are hoping great. that we will see a reduction in the usage next good. year. He's going to come to us, I think, for this uh, road surface temperature. It's about about it. Yeah, yeah. The because it's not the it's not the air temperature that is critical. It's the road, road temperature. temperature. Sure. He he and Ed are working out a brining attachment. They're creating one. <laughs> so that's great. I mean, they're just you know he's yeah. got a patent on something. George. That's great. So he's a yeah. clever guy. Yeah, 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 that's great. So and it's it's our own. We if one were to, to have the ability to lay down brine, yeah. it's just your own salt that you're using. Sure. So, so you don't have to, you know, you don't, don't have to get it. Special, yeah. uh, right. like a mix that the state right. was using that uh, destroys the drugs quicker. So, so, so we're keeping the salt budget the same. Right, that's true. Yeah. Roadside mowing, we've zeroed it out because we're getting, we're hoping to get that roadside attachment through a warrant article. Yeah. If we don't, we'll have to put 3,000 Right. Back, back in the budget. Right. Stormwater management, this is a year that permit becomes effective, so I, I've got a $5,000 budget. Yeah. If you ask me what, a, what is it going to be used for, I'm going to have to say I'm not really sure. Yeah. But we've legal got some... Legal fees, I would assume. We've been, what? Yeah, legal fees, right? I would assume. Right? No, we, we do our own permitting. We do. But, okay. you know, there are, there's, you know, the Seacoast Stormwater Coalition is working on trying to help us all. Oh, okay. So there may be some expenses also, involved in getting yeah. this part done, getting that part done <coughs> in the permit. It's more consulting, not necessarily legal consulting, okay. possibility, or testing, or something like that. Catch basin cleaning, 3500 is what we've been spending, so that's the same. And roadside maintenance and resurfacing is all in here. It's uh, $325, so that is our, uh, we were going to ask for, uh, whatever it is, it's 50000 more than we were, uh, we were planning on it because of the state. Yes. Let me say it again. Whatever we had originally planned for for this year for road surface resurfacing, we were able to increase it by fifty thousand because of the supplement. Gotcha. Okay. So it's we were going to spend two seventy five, yeah. and now it's three twenty five. Gotcha. Okay. Fifty was offset. Okay. Yeah. 50, yes. I'm reading your note. Okay. Yes. It's a fifty is a one time offset. There's a, you know, the overall offset is one hundred eight thousand because of the money fifty eight that we normally get. And then the 50, which is the one, right, or right. less, the one time supplement. Uh, street lighting is standard. Uh, so the attendance line, we've increased more than the 2% because to cover 120 hours uh, for brush chipping. Okay. They're going to use our chipper. But, but it all says elsewhere on the budget. Yes, you'll see that we're not Keep chipping. Elsewhere. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, the attendant payroll taxes. Health and safety is the same. Uniforms, we dropped it. Yep. Uh, supplies the same. Telephone dropped. Oh, this is the one. We're switching to first light here. First I think light. the other, the highway department, it was just whatever the usage was. It just, we didn't need to budget that much. So the Lamprey, the tipping for Lamprey yeah. uh, is, has an increase of 3.2%, right. which includes uh, our the contractual increase of a dollar per ton, yep. plus I think a one, just a 1% increase in overall we knew that, so. stuff. The trucking, yeah. so now I think we, we need to change this. So the trucking, we're still going to be $40 for yeah. 40 miles. They, no one's changing their mileage. Yep, so no matter where the truck. Say that again. The truck is now going to be housed in Epping. I can yeah. volunteer to do that and also submit calls to have our driver. Okay. Um, so they're, they're still working on the dispatch part of it, but Epping has offered to house the truck, maintain what they can of the truck, right. and when it needs to go out for bigger service like it did this year, they'll they'll be coordinating with that. Sure. They have the space, right. which changes everybody's hauling distance. Right. And so the group decided to keep everybody's hauling distance the same, um, to be fair. Okay. So because 
before, um, like Madbury was paying a longer haul than they actually were. Um, Epping was paying the middle of the road. We were paying pretty actual. Mm -hmm. um, North of the Plain City actual. So everybody agreed, let's not change the mileage. So whatever your mileage was before, it's still going to be bad. Oh, okay. So, because that, that. I'm not going to argue with that. <laughs> That's fine. Lee and, Lee and Rollinsford had the biggest concern. That right, was our sure, biggest yeah. concern. Because, you know, coming here from Epping is a lot. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. If they want to keep the And it would have wiped out banking. the savings that we were anticipating with our transfer station yeah, improvements. Correct. So now we'll be able to keep in the almost $4,500 in savings on, on hauling. Yeah. Because we have fewer hauls. Right. And, you know, experience will tell us whether, you know, we can even do fewer hauls. Right. And it's. Uh, but this is a big dollars a mile now. So this is a conservative. It was 525. Okay. So that's going down 4,500. That was. A... Yes. Okay. Yep. Because of the lack of hauls that sure. we're going to be taking. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which is good because as gasoline prices go up, that really makes a difference. Sure. The, you know, the, the, if you can keep your hauls down to a minimum. So the recycling. This is the uh, shipyard to to do the single stream, okay. and you know we've been budgeting six. Really, you know, we're at um, 33, almost 3,400. So we thought we could reduce it by 1,000. Sure. Um, equipment, uh, we've got an uh, uh, increased maintenance contracts uh, because of the... Yes, we have a maintenance contract so, with the compactor of yeah. the planet. So oh, that, oh, no. yeah, so there's an increase in that line because of maintenance. Disposal of metal tires. I mean, there's there's revenue on the, on the there's revenue that comes in. We didn't increase the expense. The lamprey waste closure. That's a fixed cost that I guess we pay. In, in, Forever. Yeah, yeah. 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 perpetuity. Yeah. That's a perpetuity loan. Yeah. Uh, brush chipping. So here's here, Michael. I, I don't know. Was this, yeah, it was you. So we wiped out the brush chipping line. Yeah. So that's thirty five hundred dollars savings less there. Than, uh, much less than the. Sure. That's great. You know, Perfect. Thank you, George. Right. It's it's even we're saving more than even the two thousand here. Yeah, some of that is just right. a regular yeah. salary increase. So, I, it's actually the transfer station too. It's the, the attendants who agreed and, and yeah, George, so it's yeah. just great all the way around. Wonderful. Uh, no, really well yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah. Good. and you know we've had good feedback no problem, from so the water district. Good. You know the things oh, are good, going well uh, cooperatively with them. Yes. So it's, it's so far it's all good, good news. Good. Yeah, no change to FEMA. Um, no change to the ambulance. Uh, the health officer got reduced because it's, oh, yeah. it's you know we're keeping the line. We'll put a buck there, but it's coming uh, out of. Sure. You know we've increased his hours by one. Uh, yeah, cover of the health some officer. Some of that, so yeah. Okay. Just also just the increased activity. It's it's. Election season. We should make sure that they were still looking for. One. Make sure that. I'm sorry. What? Yeah. When it comes time for elector town elections. We put the word out. Are people interested in serving as a health officer? Just like it's we would not say, an elected position. No, no, no right? just no, like we would say, anyone position. who wants to be on the, but no one wanted the planning board. We always put out a call. Oh, you know, oh I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yes. Got it. Sorry, I misunderstood. Who wants to be on the uh, really, know, really rec committee or whatever we have? Didn't want to do both. And he really shouldn't be doing both. Because right. It would be, I like I like him involved. You know, so so as a deputy would be great. Yes. Yes. And he was fine with that. Yeah. I agree. He did take it reluctantly, but yeah. fortunately, he did take it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, animal control is, uh, yeah. you know, partly Bob, Bob's recommendation. He's very happy with her. She does a lot. Right. That's working out well. Okay. And no other real change there. Okay. Uh, the general assistance or welfare line. Yeah. Uh, we're keeping. The community assistance the same. I mean, it's kind of down with Carolina to make a recommendation right. to the board about what to do. Uh, based on our conversation here, we decreased it by five thousand. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, and here's you know here's the usage right. so far. Uh, we decreased the food by two hundred and fifty and the utilities by two hundred and fifty. Mm -hmm. So, right. so there you go. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little bit like special ed, but well, on the whole, it 
also it's really different. I mean, you can't, it's more trendy Once in the economy. Once Second Street went from apartment buildings to condominiums, we saw quite a reduction. I guess what, and we had our neighbors. Our and neighbors. the building next door. Yeah. I mean, there are several buildings in town where now that they've changed. I mean, exactly. So as the stock, especially in the village, increases, you know, yeah, it changes hand and, and south of upgrades. South Third Street taken care of. We so. produce even more of it. All I'll right. So here's the uh, summer day camp and the summer teen camp. Yeah, that's great. That is exactly as the... Yeah. So I put this review because this is the one that was changing, so... Well, they put a lot of work into it. Thank you, Jody. Yeah, done a great job. job. Great job. Nice, uh, it's way more fun than Colbert. <laughs> Where do we want to go today? Water park? <laughs> it is more fun than Colbert, I would assume. Yeah. Way more fun. Water's involved in both, though. So, uh, so senior program. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think he's still a little attached. <laughs> uh, senior programs is a new line. Even though it looks like there was six dollars last year, it wasn't. But we had a bunch of lines with just a buck. I'm sorry, I'm trying to find Yeah, senior program. Well, senior, senior new, new program. Line. They're going to do a survey. Oh, that's okay. what, to see if there's any <coughs> programs. What pro coffees? Yeah. I, I don't know. Whatever. But they're going to yeah. do a, a thing. So this looks like we did. They had six dollars last year. That's not true. That we had a bunch of lines with a buck. Okay, sure. You know, and so I I didn't know where to put it, so I put it here. Uh, Salmon Falls Family Fun Day is the same. Uh, winter Rec Basketball, I, I see we reduced it by 30. I, I guess that must have, we must have chattered about it. The 1130 was the price of the liner. Um, so 1100 is just the placeholder for refs and yeah. uniforms. So is there going to be an ice rink again? Or is that, is that, I heard no. No. So no, not, no. Yeah, no one on the rec committee who's familiar with ice or does ice or skates yeah, or anything. The, so, um, I, I think the committee's reached out to Tia a couple of times, or Sean. Yeah, and so, they're busy with their yeah. kids too, so. But it, she had donated it to the to, um, town, and yeah. I don't want it to go uh, lost or unused either. For sure. So I told the chief to see if Sean and them want it back. It's hers. Gotcha. The town never paid for it. Gotcha. So, because she had bought it at the end of 2016, we didn't budget it until 2017, yeah. so we weren't able to reimburse it for it, so she had just gotcha. left it. So, it, we can reimburse them now. I mean, they, you know, they, they yeah. want to, yeah, they could just give us a, some kind of an invoice or something. I mean, there's the money it's in there. the budget. But, they they you know, and plastic deteriorates, so, yeah, so yeah. they should have the opportunity to take it back if they don't want us to. Right. And that, and then that's what made me think of the septic, and I'm like, well, as soon as we do the septic, we're not going to have an ice rink anyway. So, well, because that's where the septic would have to go. Uh, I don't know why you can't have an ice rink on top of the septic. Isn't that where it is? Perfectly where the septic tank right. is now. Okay. All right. All right, right so now they are, uh, right now we only have a driveway, which isn't allowed anymore. So you have to create a full septic tank, and you're going to have to have. The, designs like the plan yeah, of the yeah, seats exactly. and it has to fit the number of people that the state think are going to be using it. So right. It's going to be a pretty big septic tank. So yeah. it would have to go that way because you can't go towards a railroad and you can't go to parking lot. Yeah. Agree. Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. So library, they finally got their budget and they presented it so I'm just going to, right here, it's a 2.2% increase you were asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so they give us a breakdown of their... Yes, we have their budget. They mailed it to us. Okay. So it's somewhere. Email? Yeah. Okay, I'll look that up. So I'm going to go find it online. I just yeah. okay. um, No change to this section of page writing purposes. Um, capital projects. Um, so I've highlighted this because this is the town re... I'm talking 2017 now, right? Yeah. This was the town rebal. I said, Caroline, why did we, why did we spend $76,000? Right. Maybe 75. And you know what? She told me, and I knew at one time what? why we have that expense. Oh, I know, because. They are, they are rejected out of her name. Um, it's the interplay between 
what we get from the from the trustees of the trust funds and what we give the trustees of the trust fund. Yeah. Right? So we had to raise last year. Yeah. Uh, we had to raise seventeen thousand six hundred and twenty five dollars. Right? And so that's a check that we give the trustees of the trust fund. Sure. We give them then that check. Yep. They haven't given us everything. Oh, the check yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So that makes sense. Though. So it will only be the seventy thousand five hundred. But I see. She has to account for it right now. Correct. So I see. that's where she put it. Um, so these are just last year's capital projects, and they're not being repeated, so they're zeroed out. Sure. So this year's. We did have twenty thousand for the service truck. We're not. We didn't spend it. Yeah. So we're back with forty-two thousand, and we'll see how that goes. The yeah. cruiser is forty-five. Roadside mowing attachment is twelve. Uh, land appraisal, which comes from the conservation land trust fund, if we do it, and that's right. the capital project. So there's an overall decrease because we don't have those huge ones right. of over a million dollars. The financing. We do know this. We had nothing last year. Now we do have. This is that almost eighty thousand dollar figure that's both the municipal bond bank and the USDA loan. So review when it's closed. It is closed. We closed it. You know it. So I'm gonna take this out. Um, I don't know why this is highlighted. Oh, the RPD cruiser because I had a different. I had a different amount there. That's why I talked to him because I thought the twenty five thousand. Right. He's asking for is going to be part of this this year's cruiser. It is not. Cruiser is still, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Uh, so reserve funds. This is what we're asking for. 178, 200 for SIP. Uh, the culprit reserve fund, uh, 10,000. Nothing for the reval this year. Conservation land trust fund is the 10,000. We asked for it. It comes out of land land use change tax. So it's not. A, there's no taxation. So, so the grand total is reserve fund is reduction of eight point nine. Yep. yep. And the grand total is was that grand total is two point. Well, the grand total it's a reduction of a million over a million, but right. that's the right. the our big projects big that, project are, that we borrow <coughs> money to fund, right? But yes, it's a reduction of over a million. So that's that's what we know. Do you have the, the the breakout of um take out the capital projects? What what the what the operating budget yeah, is? Right here. It's right there. Right here. So okay. the operating budget is three it's a, there's a twenty one percent increase. Okay. So that's because all of our roads are in there. In there, yeah. And also our new new staff. New staff, sure. Okay. That's really the But so, the bulk of it really is the Yeah, if you look at yeah, version. the paving is a two hundred fifty thousand dollar increase. Right. So, so that would be a substantial uh, increase of the operating budget. Two hundred fifty. Yeah. So, so one hundred and twenty-five. Yeah. Half of that is our new person. Okay. So, nice. But overall, what is it? A one two cent decrease? Whatever it was. It was a one cent decrease. One or two? Whatever it was. Is it one? One. I think. One. So I'll have printouts of this on Monday, okay. and I will email I will email you this before. And if you want a hard copy, I'll have it for Monday. Uh, okay. He likes hard copy. Well, yeah, only when it's final. I mean, it's well, this is this is where. So what I what I'm going to need from the board is consensus or a vote or however we decide to do it. That this is the budget that we'll present to the budget committee. I don't have any additional changes from what you just presented, so if you want to refer to an actual copy, I'm good. Okay. But if Julie has changes, then wait. To I, don't, I, don't think, I, I, think, I don't think there's anything unresolved. Okay. Thank so, you for putting it together. And, but we'll read. <coughs> okay. And that way I can send it out to the budget committee, you know, like Tuesday or Wednesday, just when Wednesday. I make sure. When do you present it to them? A week from Wednesday. 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 And it's the CIP. Uh, George will be there to answer questions on highway and transfer, and then the, and then the whole right. the whole shebang. So the twentieth, mm -hmm. yeah, right, twentieth. 
This next Wednesday is school. Yeah. Oh, okay. At the school. The uh, space needs group is going to meet on Thursday night. I don't know if I see if you all need to go on. No, but I wrote a document with some questions for the group. I should get that out to you. Send it on over to me. Yeah. I know Caroline sent that on there on that tomorrow. About, yeah, Monday, whatever Monday is. Yeah. Not tomorrow, but that's okay. Two days from now. Days. Whatever the date is today, it's two days later. Um, yeah. I'm going to coordinate with Bob and the committee members to see if we have a critical mass of people. Yeah. Just to review the things again. Yeah. And my questions, you know, just as a board member, that I think if not this committee, somebody will have to figure out before we can go forward is what are the changes in the operating expenses of this building? What what are the what are the estimate of the operating expenses of that building? All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. So when do they meet again? We're gonna meet on Thursday night, the fourteenth, uh, I think. It is. 6 p.m. right in this very room if it's not already being used. Well, thank you for, that was really great news from the Lamprey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was looking at the mileage while I was there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it was it's awful. It was awful. I'm like, no. Yeah. And did you hear about Northwood Joe? I just heard he wasn't there anymore. No one knew Where'd he go? I, I heard that he was actually let go. Why? That, I, I mean, I don't know anything. I just, yeah. that's all. So I don't but know. But no anything. one represented for, for Northwood at the meeting. So really? have, well, like, I don't know what it happened. Happen. I don't know what it happened. So I don't know who's so, now. But he wasn't there for the previous meeting either. I don't. Yeah, I don't know when he got let go. Mm. So. Oh, he was let go. He didn't leave on his own. No. Oh. That's now. That's what I've heard. Okay. So. So, but no one from Northwood has right? been responding to Valerie, who was the secretary, yeah. and yeah. no one represented the last two times either. Huh. So they haven't had any say in any of this. Okay, are we good? I'm good. Close right there. Yeah, it's going. Well, it's not, you're not a, just a good show. I accept your message. Yeah, I'm leaving. Nonetheless. When did this come? When did the case for that? Oh, yes. Kate wanted you to see it. So the.